What's going on everyone? So today is a big day. We're going to be installing my uh, Mishimoto intercooler. Um, I got some eBay um, hoses and a Mishimoto thermostat. So you're going to need a couple screwdrivers, a 10 mil, whether it's a wrench, ratchet, whatever. Um, I'm going to kind of show you what I'm going to be working with today. So just new generic eBay hoses. I got a Mishimoto racing thermostat. pretty cool and then I went to Hyundai got some coolant I got the fan overflow tank uh, the snorkel and the new intake or sorry new radiator pretty sweet yeah no, he's, still, he's literally just crawling around right here. He's going away. Oh, here he comes. Going across the back of the... Back there. Where the frig are you going? Let me see him. It's right here. Where? It's on the move, it's kind of hard to see. He's literally down. So can you see him oh. there from over there? He's on, he's on over there now. See, right there. Right on top of the valves there. Or the injectors. There's his little face. Hmm. See, look at the phone. I don't want to install it while he's <laughs> while he's in there. He's right there. Yeah. Oh, and he fell. He's on the ground. Don't even come near me. I thought he fell. It looked like he fell down. Where are you? Oh, no, I don't see him. Oh. I am. 
It's right here in the engine bay. It's right here in the engine bay with me. So I went ahead and cleaned up uh, just like the corrosion that's on the hose neck here and on the thermostat housing. There's a little bit of coolant left over here, but it will probably just pick off. I just used um, some mild sandpaper and a brush. It's not entirely done yet. I'm just going to clean this up just a little bit more. It's kind of an OCD thing. And then I'm going to go stick it back in the car. Okay, so I just want to clean up the mounting point for the thermostat housing. So clean up a bunch of the scaly stuff. Uh, wipe up the rest of the coolant. And I will be installing the thermostat. Now this thermostat is a hundred and fifty four degrees Fahrenheit or sixty eight degrees Celsius. So it's a pretty decent thermostat. Um, a lot of the Jenny guys run it. So you want to make sure you install it the same way the old one came out. So the taller part like this portion here was in towards the car so it's kind of hard to do this just by myself so um, I'm just gonna stop the video and do it and like okay so on the thermostat there's a little like little bump here and that's gonna line up wedge my camera down there in that cutout at the top right here so, like I was saying before, you gotta remember which way the thermostat came out. So normally the long port always goes into the into the motor. It's gonna look something like that. Let's make sure it sits flush. Make sure you got all like the corrosion and stuff like that from being obviously an aluminum block. And then uh, reinstall the housing. Problem not having power tools. Oh, these guys in my hand here. All right, that's part one. See what I mean? It's cut off to uh, cool the intercooler down. So I just gotta bring this guy down here. Okay, let's so grab our mounts.
So it's in. Had to use the mounts from the stock intercooler because that's how it attaches. So I cut the guts out of the intercooler to make it work. Now I just gotta put the mounts on it and then attach the hoses and go from there. Okay, there's a little dowel and that little hole down there. Just gotta find it here. Okay. And then there's these two screws. They're actually like a different style of thread. They're not actually like a normal 10 mil screw. They go into your radiator or into your fan shroud here. Goes there, that goes there. And this guy goes on. Holy smokes. Get out of there. There. Okay, let's tighten up these two 10 mils and we're gonna add some coolant. Well, actually, we gotta put the rat hoses on first. Almost forgot. <laughs> Take the new caps off. Plug the fan in. Well, we're pretty well done. Uh, you just gotta add coolant to it. But, actually I'm not quite sure what I did with the, oh, there it is. We're having some clearance issues with the intercooler kit. As you can see, that's very tight down there. And no matter what way I were to fish this, it doesn't clear. Um, it didn't clear before I put the radiator in, so We've agreed to hold off on putting coolant in it and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do for cold piping going down. Maybe run a th like a thinner pipe and change it out. And then uh, other than that, I got the intake all bolted up. Everything's tight. I got the heat shrink or not heat shrink. The uh, heat shield to go over top of this uh, hose where the lower rat hose would be, uh, sorry, where the hot pipe would go. I don't know why I'm blambering on, but anyway, so yeah, we got a little bit of a piping issue to figure out, but we're just save for another day. Anyways, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to actually take the uh, radiator cap off and top of, like, top of what you can, start the car, get it to operating temperature, and just continue to keep topping up the coolant as the thermostat will open. It's going to suck the rest of the coolant in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's really sunny. Anyways, uh, sorry about the kind of disappointing video. Um, I'll get everything figured out as time goes on. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.